This morning, we're taking on a wild adventure in the forests of Washington states. A revolutionary new technology is allowing conservationists to track big cats like these cougars. They're cute, aren't they? In real time to monitor their behavior. I love their eyes. The technology got its start in Africa, where it helps fight illegal poaching and avoid conflicts between wildlife and humans. Ben Tracy trekked down into the deep rainforest of the Pacific Northwest to see exactly how it works. Here we go. It's just after sunrise on the Olympic Peninsula, a few hours west of Seattle. This is so beautiful, though, with the mountains and the water. Oh, God. We're not here to sightsee. Pilot and biologist Jeff Wells is searching for an elusive set of targets in the woods below us. So right there where it's all misty and gray, right straight of us, that's where we're going. So there's three potential cats that we're looking for. But they're not just any cats. Using these antennas, Wells picks up radio signals from collars worn by three wild pumas, or cougars as they're called in this region. That one. This is Omar. Jeff sends the location to the team on the ground. Well, this is not bad, it's like the weather. And now Mark Elbrock starts his own search. He's the director of the Olympic Cougar Project at the global conservation group, Panthera. He's getting them straight up, Andy. Along with partners from the Elwha Klalem tribe, he's taking a team up this mountain to find a five-year-old puma named Omar. His collar is wearing out and needs to be replaced. Without it, the big cat won't show up in Earth Ranger, a cutting edge digital tracking platform that has changed just about everything for the conservation community. Earth Ranger provides us a visual tool to just see in live motion all the animals on the landscape. I can't even exaggerate how big amount of time we were investing in doing all this stuff to figure out where cats are. All of that's automated now. Technologist Jess Lefcourt helped build the system. It records the location of the animals uh, every few hours, and we can then visualize it in real time on top of a map. What does knowing where all the animals are allow you to do? It allows you to protect them and find them in real time. Two elephants inside the fence at Munyas area. Earth Ranger was first developed in Africa four years ago to fight elephant poaching. It also helped prevent conflicts with local residents who would often kill the massive animals if they wandered into farms or villages. Here's Omar's latest location. The technology is now being used in more than 40 countries on five continents, including here in the remote coastal rainforests of Washington state. He is upslope from us. Okay. We have about a 1,200 foot climb to the ridgeline, but we're fairly certain at this point that we want to make you hike uphill. We're going to keep hiking. <laughs> This so-called hike is more like a lung-searing, death-defying, hand-over-hand assault on a 45-degree cliff face crowded with trees. When we finally catch up with the dogs, they've chased Omar up a tree. Okay. Elbrock gets ready to fire a tranquilizer dart, but before he can... Uh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Omar makes a break for it. So how often does this happen where you find one, but he gets away? Oh, <laughs> too often. <laughs> so this is what we do. He'll probably, he won't run far. A couple hundred yards, probably. Huh? <laughs> Off we go. It's what they do, but why? The cougar population is not endangered in this area. At least, not yet. Right here on the Olympic Peninsula, they appear to be isolated from the remainder of Washington state. And so the Interstate 5 is kind of like a noose, and it's turning the peninsula into an island. They'll be contained, and they'll be breeding opportunities amongst themselves. But over time, that's a terrible thing. So basically, the genetics get messed up because it's essentially inbreeding. Ex exactly, inbreeding. That's a problem because cougars are considered ecosystem engineers in these forests. Their kills providing food and even shelter for hundreds of other species. Where's Andy? About six hours into our adventure. He's going to come down to here and jump, right? Omar finally seems to be worn out. I'm going up. Huh? He's going. Great. He might be hung up. Oh, here he goes. Okay, he's okay. This animal is beautifully in his prime. And now the real work begins. Is that a new color? The team replaces Omar's collar, checks his vital signs, and ensures that Earth Ranger's high-tech science mission can continue. We essentially want to know that the Olympic Peninsula is healthy. 
And the best way to do that is to see if wildlife are able to move from the Olympic Peninsula to the Cascades and back. So far, that's not true. Nobody's been able to leave the peninsula. And so by putting these GPS colors on, it's the best data you can get. You know, we live in this ecosystem and it is healthier and stronger and more resilient because of the presence of these animals. Oh, he's moving. And less than an hour after being tranquilized, Omar is back on his feet. Nature's mighty engineer getting back to work. For CBS Mornings, Ben Tracy on the Olympic Peninsula. All right, Ben Unbelievable. Tracy. I love that story. I really loved everything about it. Unbelievable. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, so I'm familiar with cougars in that area, but I did not know it took that much work to track them. No, That's I didn't know. I, or, or to film people tracking them. We got a real moment from Ben Tracy there as he turned to the camera. <laughs> I wonder what I, he I, said. I, yeah. <laughs> So put it in slow motion. It's really easy to read lips. But it's fascinating that they're even doing that and the yeah. information that they're getting. Yeah. Nicely done, Ben Tracy. A lot more dangerous than I thought it yeah, would be, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah.